today we are going to create a program where we can create a immutable class so how we will create an immutable class so what are what are the use case scenarios for immutable class that is the first thing that we need to consider so nowadays most of the programming is like multi threaded and also distributed so basically uh, there is some scenarios where we need to keep something uh, from multi-threading multi threaded environment uh, and current modification we need to prevent that so how we will do that so the only way we can do is creating an immutable class so we know one of the immutable class that you always use string is an immutable class right so what I am going to do is I'm going to cre create a class so for creating an immutable class what are the things we need to consider so that's the first thing so for creating an immutable class we need to make our class fine that's the first criteria and also the second one make all your fields final so that that are the two condition we need to have and the other one do not expose any setter methods so if we are exposing setter method anyone can change the values right so we don't need that and uh, another thing uh, yeah that's all all about the immutable class so uh, we can try to create an immutable class so I'm going to create a uh, package here so for all of our works so probably I will make, a, make it like a service or something and I will create a immutable class here so I will give a name like immutable immutable what I will give immutable list immutable people or person okay and inside that I need to declare some of the variables actually so what I will do is I will I will declare two variables one is in one one is string actually so whenever we are declaring final uh, compiler ask us to uh, initiate that value so basically we cannot change any values that's the concept of final right so I'm making this class into final also so here if we are clicking on this one variable name I know have been initialized so I need to create a constructor so what I will do is add constructor and create two variables here so it's automatically created that then whenever I'm constructing a method, constructing this particular object it should not be changed right so I need to create some getter methods you are going in the J idea there are a couple of places that I can do from here also I guess I, I can do that so what I am going to do is there is a generate things here so generate we have a shortcut shortcut also so we are going here code generate so easiest way is on your control button and again and you need to select the getter because this is a final class so final methods and you cannot set uh, you cannot create any set method so this one is fine right now so whenever I am creating an object 
and initializing the, that particular value otherwise I cannot create an object here and after that there is some getter methods to get the values so it's a very easy way of creating an immutable class and uh, there are a couple of things we need to consider if you are passing mutable object to immutable classes uh, there is some consideration so right now I am not talking about that so probably in some other videos I will talk so this video is just how we will create an immutable class so that's all for today thank you for watching have a nice day